Hi guys, so we are back with another monthly makeup drawer. So we are doing our makeup drawer for October. It's gonna make everything easier. And I actually have a project pan coming up. So some of those items will be included in here. And if you wanna go ahead and check out my project pans, I just finished up finish seven by fall. Now we're going to go into October and um, I'm going to, I'm not going to share which ones, but I am going to show you my makeup drawer for October. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the vanity um, that I use. This, someone asked me what this was. This was actually an organizer for pens and paper in a drawer at work. That's the kind of drawer that I have in here. And I got this actually from Staples. So it has like the different compartments. So that is a really simple way to do your storage. If you don't have, um, you know, the Alex drawers and you have those type of drawers, you can definitely, I was, at first I was trying to find something clear to put in here, but this one is way larger and is sturdier. And just because it's dark and I have dark furniture, it worked perfectly. So this is what I have this in. And so I have two drawers. Okay, so this is um, this is the drawer that I store new stuff in. I'm not trying to do a makeup collection, but I wanted to show you all. And in here is where I am keeping my, <clears throat> what I'm using for my project pan. Okay, so we're going to be, I'm going to be adding some stuff and pulling some items out. Okay, so the items that I know that I'm pulling out, this Rainforest of the Sea, I particularly did not like this. And it's not horrible, but it's not the best palette that I've had. I absolutely love it, the mirror. I love the shades, but I will tell you this. These, to me, do not blend well with a... It doesn't blend well with a um, with a primer. They're very tacky. Um, these are actually ones I feel like they blend well by themselves alone. But I, I mean, so it's a good palette. Don't get me wrong. But I have a ton of palettes and I have to declutter. I got this in a boxy charm. I am going to probably put this on a block sale or. Um, I'll probably put this on the block sale. I like it. This is a great everyday palette, but I have so many palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I have a lot of palettes that have like neutral shades in here. And I feel like someone that is not into primers don't want to use those on their eyes and wants something for everyday would really enjoy that palette. So I'm going to de declutter that one. I am also going to declutter my Manny MUA. I have so many palettes like this and I just want to, I just want to downsize. So I am, and this one has a nice mirror too. I'm going to actually put those two on a blog sale. I am decluttering some eyeshadows. These two are motives. These four are Mary Kay and I'm actually going to keep this. So I'm actually going to keep this palette itself just because it's great for travel. But I am going to declutter this Modus eyeshadow in these four. It's because it's broken, but we're going to declutter those. I'm also going to take this out. The reason why I'm taking this out, because I love my Marc Jacobs, y'all. I love this. And I actually kept the slide in here. But I have been killing this for the month of um, September. So in October, I'm actually going to take this out because I actually have a pan that palette I want to actually really get some use out of that so I'm not trying to give myself options in terms of bronzers right now <clears throat> I probably put one in once I get bored with the one that I have in here but I don't want to give myself an option okay so I have this loose area here I did already declutter some I had to get rid of some foundations y'all the makeup forever face and body not the water blend but the old formula <clears throat> I broke out and I didn't know what was breaking me out. I just got some little bumps and I was like, um, that's a sign. I need to get rid of it. So I'm kind of over expired makeup and using it because you don't get your optimal results. You might end up liking it at first, but no. This Laneige, I am, I want to say this one, I actually flipped the 
cushion in here. I know it looks disgusting. Sorry, guys. I really do enjoy this. This is like the only cushion foundation. No, no, no. The L'Oreal I really like. But this one actually has SPF 50. I have turned it and I have it in the shade was it medium dark I really do enjoy this I flipped it over I'm going to use this um, that's for my makeup on the go in terms of foundation I'm going to put these two and you'll see these in a project pan my Clinique Beyond Perfecting and my NARS I know these are my oldest foundations and I want to move them out of my collection so I'm going to be using these you're probably going to see these in October November December because I am going to do a project pan nine finish nine by New Year's and so these will be the alternating ones that I'll go to back and forth these are my oldest so this was in a previous project pan so it's already halfway done and I'm also going to bring this one in both of these give me a good medium to full coverage and I can actually shear these out so these two are going to go in here I'll put those right on the side this is a cleansing oil by Smooth Naturals. I want to get done with that. So I'm bringing that in as well. I'm also bringing in this color corrector by Eve Pearl. I want to get through this. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have a makeup inventory. So I know how old products are. So I want to actually get through this. I got picked this up from Namie's. This is really, really good. This used to be my favorite. Uh, color corrector before the Makeup Forever Invisible cover but I like that I have this in a palette so I want to finish this I'm actually gonna put this into a project pan because I want to get through it so I'm gonna actually put this in here somewhere let's put this right here it fits right there okay uh, what else am I bringing in I'm bringing in Mac peaches I'm bringing in my Mary Kay powder. I'll take this perfume out. What is this? Take this out. This is long. I also have, I'm leaving in some items. This is in a Pan That palette. Um, so I'm leaving this in. I have my Lorac Pro in here. And I actually have the Tamana palette. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I have these three palettes. They're going to stay in. I also have still my Hula bronzer. Remember, that was in a project pan. I'm actually going to alternate between these two bronzers. If I get bored, I'll go back to this one. I actually really want to finish that and pan it uh, and be done with it. So I'm probably going to be going using that one first. But these palettes, I'm going to keep, I'm going to put these out because I'm actually going to pull these out and we will put these away because that's the only way I know that I'm going to concentrate on my Lorac Pro. And this is the palette I'm trying to pan, or I'm going to pan um, and take it into 2018. And this is the one month, one palette. And I have some looks on here. This is my Tamana, Dress Your Face palette by Anastasia so I'm gonna put these over here actually I'll put these over here so got that I'm also gonna take out do I want to take out my peanut butter and jelly let's see I can actually bring these into fall I'm actually gonna keep these in here These actually stick next stick to each other, y'all. They have that magnet or closure. Um, he, I'm gonna take these out because otherwise I'll try to use them. Y'all see what I'm doing? This one is a bit different. I'm gonna take out this out elf palette, which y'all I have really been enjoying this matte palette. This has been come, become one of my favorite shades right here. I'm um, just putting it on my lid. I've used that in a couple of videos. And I'm going to take out my baked browns. Although I want to try this. Mm, you know what? I'm going to um, I'm gonna leave the baked browns in because I want to try that. And give a, do a, I actually want to do a review on that. 
So I'm going to take that out. I think I'm kind of going to leave everything else in here. I have some blushes. I have blushes right here. You know what? I want to bring in a mauve blush. Oh, I have this one right here. I have a nice mauve. -y. That's the one from Studio Makeup from BoxyCharm. I need to try that anyway. Um, let's see. I'm supposed to bring some other stuff in. Oh, I am going to bring in... No, I'm not going to bring that in. Oh, there's one more foundation I want to bring in. The Neutrogena Healthy Skin. These are foundations that I know that I want to finish up. So I'm going to put those. I have three foundations. The Clinique, the NARS, and the... I want to bring in a drugstore. In the case I do a drugstore video or something. Oh, I know what I need to bring in. I need to bring in a concealer. I'm supposed to be still finishing the, these off. So I'm going to put that in there. The MAC Pro Longwear, that's almost done. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to bring in, um, I have an eye pencil that I'm bringing in and a lip pencil. I want to get some use out of these. I have eyebrow. I'm just trying to make sure I have everything in here. I have a, oh, I want to bring it in a primer. I also want to bring in this. This is from OCC Cosmetics. This is the Cream Color Concentrate and Discipline. I want to bring that in and I think I need to bring in a face powder okay so in terms of face powder setting we're going to bring in the MAC mineralized skin finish and this is in medium dark gonna bring that in this is our illuminator I'm gonna bring in this because I want to get some glow get my glow on I'm going to bring in this Tarte. This is an illuminating primer, but I really want to use this up. I also have this uh, moisturizing primer by Jouer that I want to bring in. So at least I have illuminating and I have a... This is like smoothing and illuminating and then the hydrating primer. I always need two of those. I want to move those out of my collection too. I still have the same lip products. I want to get through these. Okay. I still have this palette in just so I, I still want to hit pan. I, see, I have some the Pacifica blush blushes in here. I have the, this is the RCMA favorite series palette in Shinto 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I want to actually do a review on that. I have some stuff if I need to glam. I have some face powders. I have a, oh, I need to try this concealer by for Ipsy. And that's it, you guys. Um, that is what I'm going to have in. I have some lashes back here if I need to. I still have those from Pure. And then I have the Eye Slay uh, lashes from Flutter. I got those on sale. I got those on a really good deal. And that's it, you guys. So basically, I'm taking out this. I'm basically taking out a lot of palettes. Okay. So I'm taking out a bronzer, the Sweet Peach, the Chocolate, the Elf Matte Palette. I'm also taking out my Sugar Pop and my Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I'm going to put these to the side. I'm actually going to declutter these three. Okay. My Manny MUA. I have so many like this. I don't need it. Um, the Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. Got this in a boxy charm. I really do like it for every day. But honestly, I don't need it. I don't. So I'm going to declutter these three. And that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this makeup drawer for the month of October. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, lovies.